pop quiz. What makes a Canva designer better? Three words. Canva keyboard shortcuts. Let's say we want to duplicate this image. All we have to do is click on it, hold the option or alt key on our keyboard and just click and drag. And if we want to position this behind, all we have to do is hit the command or control key and use the left hand bracket like this to put it behind. Or if you want to bring it all the way in the front, just keep on clicking the right bracket like that. Now let's get rid of this image here. Now let's say we want to create some guidelines. So shift R on our keyboard, that's going to open up the ruler here. And all we have to do is click and drag and click and drag and there you have the guidelines and to turn them off just shift r again and they are gone and the last one here is if we click the this key here which is the backslash key the one with the question mark if we click on that it's going to open up this new canva assist panel and it basically has everything and anything you may need all here ready easily for your access check out my youtube video on 21 canva keyboard shortcuts that you need to know are you struggling to create content for your social media channels? No worries, I got you. I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT and Canva to bulk create content for your social media channels. Let me show you. Here I am using ChatGPT to generate 15 mistakes that first time home buyers should avoid. Now I'm asking Chat to generate this information into a table. Now I'm going to drag my mouse and I'm going to copy the text from this table and then I'm going to paste it into a Google spreadsheet. Now at this point, obviously you want to put in your own verbiage, tonality and text in here so you're not copying exactly what chat GPT has. Now go into Canva, find a template of your choice. In this case, I searched up words and definitions. Then go in and adapt this to your brand. Now go to the left hand side, look for the apps search for the bulk create and now we're going to upload our csv file into canva now we need to connect the data points to the text so open up click on the text box click the three dots and then connect the data to each column once you have connected all the data points now all you have to do is to just click the continue button on the bottom there and then generate all pages then canva will generate you all of your pages just like that and if this sounds all really confusing, don't worry, I have a full tutorial on my YouTube channel, so check it out. Canva Hack for Realtors, this is how you can create a quick and custom QR code for any URL using Canva. Let me show you. Go to the apps section right here on the left hand panel. We want to search for a QR code and we want to just tap on this one here and then we want to give it access, click use. And then all we have to do is just paste in our URL. So in this case, I'm just going to take my YouTube channel. I'm going to go back in here, paste it like that. Boom. There you go. And if you want to be a little bit fancy, you can make this a little bit bigger. And what we can do is add a small little logo like that. Not that big, but you know, make it small and somewhere like that you should still be able to scan the code normally and it should open up your link so i'm just going to make this background a different color and let's test this out boom it opens up your youtube channel wow amazing follow for more as real estate agents, we know the importance of having systems and processes in our business. So this is why you need to create a fillable questionnaire form for your buyer and seller clients. Let me show you. First, you want to open up Canva and create your PDF document like I did here. Then go to your browser and look up docfly.com. This is an online PDF editor and this is where we are going to create our edible fields. Once you upload your PDF file, you can add in the fillable fields, you can add in the dates, you can create the checklist, change the fonts, the colors of the text if you will, and anything else you'd like on your PDF document. And once you're done, all you have to do is just hit export and they can download it right to your desktop. I recommend you test it out on your computer, see if everything works, or even send it to a friend. And there you go, this is your fillable PDF. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial of how to do this, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Listen up, my real estate brothers and sisters. What I am about to share with you is a Canva hack that I wish I knew sooner. Why didn't anybody tell me this? Here is an Instagram feed post I have of first time home buyer mistakes. And essentially, I want to change out the topic phrase here. And that is on every single page. And I don't want to do that manually for the 16, 15 pages here. And you don't have to. So go up to the file. We're going to search for find and replace text. Click on that. And here I'm just going to copy the exact text here. 
paste it into the find. I want to make sure I have the match case turned on. And instead of this phrase here, I'm just going to go with home buying mistakes. So it is simple and easy. And we are going to hit replace all. And that is going to change out every single topic line on this page here. You're welcome. Follow for more. If you are a real estate agent on YouTube, mad respect. So let me show you how you can make your channel banner look gorgeous with Canva. First, you want to go to Google and search YouTube banner template and basically download any of them to your desktop. Then go to Canva, go to create a design in the upper right corner. Search for a YouTube banner, which should be 2560 by 1440 pixels. Then take that Google image we saved her computer, set it as the background. Turn on your rulers and guides by hitting shift R on your keyboard or going up to the file tab and searching for show rulers and guides. Click and drag from the top click and drag from the top and from the sides in order to build out this specific guideline. Once you're done, this is what the guidelines should look like. And now you can go ahead and create your banner design and make sure that everything that is in the center looks good because that is what you're going to see on your mobile device. And then go ahead and just insert your CTAs on the side like that, subscribe and follow for more. And of course, I have the full YouTube tutorial on my channel on how I create my YouTube banner design. So be sure to check it out. Do you want to become that real estate agent? If yes, then you need to create this just listed seamless Instagram carousel post using Canva. Let me show you. Click custom design button in the upper right corner. Click custom size on the bottom. Customize the size to 5400 to 1080 pixels. Turn on your rulers and guides by hitting shift R or going up to the file tab. Now I have just created a square and then clicking and dragging the rulers to create a guideline. Now go ahead and create your design. When you're done, just download this as a PNG. Search in your browser pinetools.com. Search for image split. Click on the first one you see. Import your photo. Make sure you choose horizontally split image and choose the quantity of your blocks, which is five in this case. Go to the bottom and hit split image. Download the zip file to your desktop. And if you're like me on Apple, I airdrop my photos to my iPhone. This is what it should look like when it's all done. And if this was too quick, don't worry because I have a full tutorial on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Canva Hack for Realtors. This is how you can create a Canva landing page website that enables you to capture email information. Let me show you. Go to Canva, make sure you're clicked on the websites over here. Now you can choose a template of your choice, but in this case, I am just going to go with a blank one. This is what my landing page looks like. It's the cover page, some YouTube videos, my listing presentation that I have embedded into Canva. And if I click on it, you can see that you can go through it. And then this final page here is where I'm going to have my call to action, my CTA. In this case, I'm going to embed a Google form here so I can capture information. Head over to Google. You can create a new form like this. Here I have added in a cover photo and then just two questions, just name and email. And then you want to go to the send button over here. And then you want to go to the link. You can shorten the link if you want. And then I just copy this. Then go back to your Canvas site. You can right click and then just hit paste. And then it should embed over your Google form. And then all you have to do is just size it accordingly, just like that. And if you need more help, check out my YouTube tutorial on how to create a Canva website that collects emails. Our real estate brothers and sisters, to those of you who can speak multiple different languages, did you know that Canva can also speak in multiple languages as well? Yes! With the Canva's new AI tool, you can translate any of your designs into upwards of 100 different languages. This is going to be so clutch to repurpose your content and target certain client demographics. Let me show you. So here I have a YouTube Instagram feed post to promote my YouTube videos. And let's say I want to translate this text into Spanish because, well, I can. You want to go to the app section over here, and then we are looking for the translate. So just click on that, and then just keep this automatically detected. And then you can search for the language you want. I already have this selected on Spanish, and then I'm on page two. And then we're just going to translate. And then it's going to immediately translate over, populate, and as you can see, this is the new page, page three, and then the regular text up here in English was page two. So let me know, my Spanish speakers out there, is this correct? I don't know about you, but I have been waiting for this. Canva has just introduced design layers to the platform and I am living 
for it and let me show you why so i create all of my youtube thumbnails with canva and they tend to be a little bit intricate because there's so many different layers stacked upon each other and before it was really hard to move things in the background without moving things in the foreground if you know what i mean now instead all we have to do is go up to the positions tab up here make sure you are toggled over to layers on this side and you'll see all of your different elements on the canvas and let's say i wanted to take this youtube logo and bring it to the front i would just click and drag to the top and now it's in front and i can rearrange it make it bigger if i want to and then just send it back to where it's supposed to be just like that canva hack for realtors are you creating real estate landing pages using canva websites if you're not what is he doing? Check out my tutorials on my YouTube channel. Now, one of the CTAs that I love to use, call to actions, is embedding my Calendly link onto my Canva landing page website. This will make it so much easier for prospect clients to book calls directly with you into your calendar and you can talk with them over Zoom. Let me show you. Here I have a seller's landing page I made with Canva websites and the CTA here is I want them to book a call with me. So I'm gonna go to Calendly. I'm going to copy the link here for my real estate inquiry, go back into Canva, command or control V, and then we just want to crop this down so it fits nicely in here. And then let me show you how this works. So go up to preview and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see here, we can click over the different dates and then your client can pick a day and then just answer the questions and book directly into your calendar what can i say canva just keeps getting better and continues to improve the user and design experience so say hello to the new resize and position panel let me show you. So here is a virtual business card or bio link site, if you will. And I'm working on the social media icons down here. And I want them to be all the same size. Before, I would have to click and try to make them all the same size by guessing. But now, we don't have to do that. So go and click your element. Go up to the positions tab up here. I'm going to make this 50 by 50 pixels. And of course, do that to the same thing for Instagram. And do that for Facebook. And now I'm just going to click and drag to select them all. I'm going to tidy them up and now they are perfectly aligned as they need to be. Canva hack for my real estate brothers and sisters. Did you know that you can connect your Google Drive to Canva? Yes. This is going to keep you organized and make marketing material for your real estate listings a breeze. Let me show you. Open up any Canva design. You want to go to the apps section here, apps, and hopefully you scroll down. You're going to find Google Drive right here. And if you don't, you can search for it up here. So I'm just going to click on this and essentially it's going to ask you to connect your Google by logging in and then it's going to connect to your account. Once you're logged in, you should be able to see all of your folders inside your Google Drive. In this case, let's say I have listing photos and all I would do is put my listing photos in that specific Google folder and then now I can just click and drag my photos into wherever I need to and then we are moving and shaking. Get the heck, not just for my real estate brothers and sisters out there, but also for my content creator besties. If that's you, listen up because I have a Canva hack for you too. Did you know that you can connect your Instagram to Canva and save your Instagram reels without the Instagram watermark? Yeah, and it's free. Let me show you. Go to Canva and find the Instagram story. Click on the apps tab here, and then we are gonna search for Instagram. Click on that, and essentially you just wanna connect your Instagram by signing in and giving permission. Once you're signed in, it's going to populate all of your posts from Instagram. In this case, let's say I want to use this reel here. I'm going to click on it and then it's going to jump over here and it's going to need some time to upload essentially. But I'm just going to drag it so it fills up the entire page just like that. Give it a play and now you see that there is no Instagram watermark. And all you have to do is go up to the share button up here, go to downloads and then just save this video to your desktop. Page layouts on Canva just got a lot smarter, aka Canva got that AI designing magic. Now when it comes to creating presentations in Canva, you can see suggestions as to how to arrange things on your page or use these different page templates that are in your brand colors. Let me show you. So here I have a listening presentation in Canva and if we click on this page here and go up to the design tab up here, we are in layouts and essentially this is Canva's smart design AI technology where it's showing you different ways you can rearrange the elements on your page and it is in beta mode so it doesn't really give you that great of suggestions so instead what I want to show you is if you go to a blank page 
and you are still in the layouts tab here it's showing you different uh, layout or templates you can work with and I think they're really helpful so let's say if we click on one of these here all you have to do is just rearrange the text and then add in your features Canva for Realtors, did you know that you can import an old PowerPoint presentation into Canva and give it some major loving and TLC? Let me show you. There are two ways to import a design by going up to the create a design tab, going to import down here and then selecting your file. Or if you're like me, I'm kind of lazy. I just like to click and drag directly into Canva. And once your PowerPoint presentation is uploaded, just go ahead and click on it. At this point, all you want to do is just go in and just adjust any photos, text if needed. And now you can include anything and everything with Canva to make this presentation look that much better. Guess what I just learned. We can now create pre-configured grid guidelines on Canva and lock those bad boys down. Let me show you why I'm so excited. Here is a seamless Instagram carousel post I have designed up in Canva. Now, normally to create these guidelines, I would have to use a rectangle, square it up and make my guides that way. But we don't have to do that no more. Instead, go up to the file tab up here. Click on that. Go to view settings, obviously turn on your rulers and guides and then hit add guides. Now, in this case, I have five columns and zero spacing in between. And then I'm just going to add guides and then boom, guidelines are here. And if you want to lock them down, go to file again, go to view settings. You can lock the guides or clear guides completely. Guess what? Canva's AI writing assistant, also known as Magic Write, is now available not just in Canva Docs. Mm -mm, it's available everywhere in all Canva doc types. Now we can use that Canva AI magic everywhere. Let me show you. Here is a property listing website I created with Canva and right now I need a description but I got writer's block, no worries. I'm going to put a text box on here and then I'm going to go down to the Canva assist over here. You see that? Click on that, hit edit with magic right and now we got to give this a prompt here so I'm just going to paste that in there and let's see what Canva does for us. Yes. And all you have to do is just size this accordingly. Obviously you want to go in and put your own words but this is going to give you a base and skeleton to work with. And if you're not feeling this, you can also go back into canvases down here, and then you can either summarize this text, expand it, or rewrite it. 